David McLennan was a renowned theatre producer and ran a play, a pie and a pint until he passed away in 2014. With the concept more popular than ever as it turns 20 years old, there's no denying the immense impact he made on the Scottish theatre scene, as actress and David's wife, Juliet, explains. This idea was uh, foremost in his mind and, um, uh, you know, it was at home, it was, he was living and breathing it. He would um, get in touch with writers and not necessarily, you know, playwrights, but a great mixture of people. He would cast it, he would help put up the lights, he would help with the sound, he would direct them. He was pulling all these strands together to create this wonderful, wonderful thing, yeah. And I've been very fortunate in my work and life in the theatre, but never more so than here. This has become the real love of my life, and I, I think a play pine a pint is just such good fun. You know, David was uh, very much um, there every single day to meet the audience. Possibly they would say to him after the show, well, David, I didn't like that one, but I'll be back next week to see what you've got on. A Play Pine a Pine remains an essential platform for new talent, with many writers and performers kickstarting their career with the company. So it's really difficult to get your first project out there in any kind of theatre. So Play Pine a Pine is really that chance for new voices to showcase themselves. I put a show on about a guy who mixed iron brew and chips together and created a hallucinogenic drug, and that was really successful. Of course, it's not just about the plays, it's also about the pies. I think macaroni pies came in at one point, um, but nope, nothing can beat a good old scotch pie. I like the macaroni ones, actually. The pies are still great. Now you have it on your lap instead of, because there's so many people now, they don't have room for all the tables. But yeah, still love a, still love a pie. <laughs> David laid such a strong foundation for it, and so it rolls on, and long, long may it continue. Is one of the biggest uh, employers of um, actors, writers, directors, certainly in Britain and indeed possibly Europe. It's clear that David McLennan's lunchtime concept continues to thrive two decades on and remains so important for developing fresh talent and bringing new theatre to Scottish audiences.